Hi guys, Frostfangs here, welcome back once again to another Paladins video, we're going to be playing some Talus today, and this is one that I'm actually not really sure how to label, I don't know if I should call it 40% Talus, a lifesteal, Talus damage reduction, Talus, I don't really know, but the setup we're rolling with is right in front of you, we've got Perseverance and Guts, pretty high leveled, we also have Transient level 4, so we're getting damage reduction below 40%, a massive amount of lifesteal below 40%, and a big amount of cooldown reduction on uh, F, which also is a heal and a cooldown reset, then also a tiny bit of extra sustain, but they also kind of just fill the cards, I don't really know how else to describe the setup other than like an annoying way to play Talus where it's just really difficult to get that last bit of your health off because of the lifesteal and the damage reduction and our teleport so it's just a bit more risky a bit less predictable as you'd probably expect from seeing the setup you get so many of your buffs below 40% health that you're basically always playing on that sort of limit where you're really close to being killed for talent we're going to be grabbing inner strength and that's pretty much it for the intro I've been doing a lot of videos on flankers recently so I thought we'd finish it off by kind of visiting I guess what is technically a classic I'm surprised that this setup has been kind of like a meta semi meta choice for Talus for so long it has obviously been changed around a little bit some of the cards are weaker than they were guts used to be a higher percentage and a few other small things the talent used to give damage reduction but it is still decent it should make for a fun video so let's just go jump into game one right well, we've got king of the hill trade district we've got a mccurr we've got a sky anessa and a lex and we're up against a Ceres and io cassia mave and a zin matchmaking seems a little bit weird in this one as usual when i play at these weird sort of times we'll go ahead and grab inner strength and then the setup we'll start off with quarter eyes i don't know if i want to get life rip or not because it will be nice when we're above 40 percent. but anytime we drop below 40 percent, it kind of counters the other card because of diminishing returns so i might stay away from any sustain from like items and stuff just because like i said it's only going to be super noticeable above the 40 percent threshold we've got preparation steady aim discovery pluck okay yomi street justice impulse causes blessing and agony sure i'm going to throw the f down here punch over and go for like a super aggressive start not really any point in lingering around we can punch in hello io there is the q just bursted through that is first blood i might be dead but now nah, we're fine thank you sky for the backup throw the f again get some little poke damage on the mave i think you hit it for literally 40 there's a punch for the zin that really did didn't work. I'm going to try my best to not complain about the Talus punch because I'm sure you heard me talk about that enough in like the last Talus video, which I did make not too long ago. Did really just want an excuse to play Talus again. I died to the Maeve because I'm pretty sure she just executed me with Street Justice, which kind of sucks because it completely negates the setup. This game so far is an absolute mess. Whenever I die and watch somebody play, I really have no idea what I'm looking at. I think our Sky might be a bot, either that or she's just really bad. I don't know. Like the way she's moving makes me think she's a bot, but it's really going to be difficult to tell until we see like the stats page because she might just be a new player. There's some shots on the Maeve. I thought I was going to get stunned but it hit the Makoa. I'm gonna be honest with you I have no idea what's going on in this game hopefully the stats page can clear it up there's a punch for the Zin nice well done Makoa. we can punch in and be aggressive because I put my F down pop the Q blast the Mave a little bit hello Cassie because we can blast you instead oh my god you're getting healing like mad there's the F the lag on that was kind of crazy what's my ping at 31 okay sure paladins whatever you say yeah this is just a peak like 4 a.m game the Io and the Cassie both don't have items for some reason I honestly don't know what's going on point is just here we'll go ahead and stand on it I did throw the F down already there is the Q I need to pay attention to the Ceres to the Mave and also to the Luna. There's so much CC and so much stuff that can completely body me. Just need to be a little bit more aware, I guess. There goes the Maeve. We'll punch over here. I guess I should get some resilience to help with it. I don't know. I don't feel like I ever get resilience on Talus, but whatever. There is the Q. We'll try and go through as quick as we can. There's a punch. Sky through the ult there. For some reason, I don't think she's playing. There's no way she's playing because that play was absolutely horrible. I'll go ahead and pop the ult. We'll go after the IO. Sure, can we get the double punch? Yes, we can. Just pop in her F, but that is fine. We'll blink back straight away. Pop a Q. Get rid of the Maeve. My shots were terrible, but there's the double. Go ahead and grab some more Haven. We can punch in, throw an F, get the Q going, see if we can melt through this Cassie. Nice, get some shots on anybody else we can. Blink back any second. There we go, punch away as well. Okay, I was running away on like no health also. There's some more shots for the Zin. He's just going to counter me and get rid of me. Really couldn't have done anything there to win that fight. Sky is just standing on the point. Kinesa is just standing on the point and Lex is just standing on the point. The only person here I feel is actually doing anything is the Makoa, which is a shame because most people on their side seem to actually be doing like a decent sort of thing. There goes the Sky, pop the Q, get some shots into the Cassie. I'm totally dead, although the cards are coming in mad clutch. I am still uh, gone. Did I die to his counter again. I feel like this one is very similar to what we had in a video recently or soon depending on I guess is when this one goes up. It might be the one right before this or the one right after this but we had basically the exact same thing where it feels kind of unwinnable. Regardless of what I do here I think this is going to be a loss. I'm going to throw the F and go for the ult. Should we just go after the IO? Yeah sure. Or the Cassie. I guess that works too. Not what I was trying to do but sure I'll take it. There goes the Ceres nearly. Punch for the Maeve. Get rid of the IO. Sure I just spawned in and she was fighting the Kinesa on like no health. He got a hook on the Zin. There goes the Lex as well. I'm not going to bother trying to get rid of him. I'm going to punch over here and just run. But yeah even though this game is an absolute mess i'm kind of looking forward to seeing the stats page so we can hopefully get some sort of insight into what the hell matchmaking was thinking there goes the mave more shots into the cassie i'm just going to blink back and save myself but there is the defeat don't we know what else i could possibly say that i didn't say throughout the course of that match but yeah let's see the stats because i was kind of looking forward to this we went 11 8 56k i will take that top damage other than the zin who beats up like 300 close enough for the rest of them lex struggled a ton the makoa did i guess fine the sky struggled massively and so did the nessa nothing i could have done there would have won me that game but i still did 
at least a decent job. Their Ceres did pretty good, their Io did decent, their Cassie did decent, their Maeve did decent, and so did their Zin. What was matchmaking thinking? I have no idea. Shoutouts to Quad Banana, that was the Zin on the enemy team, definitely the best person in that game. Their Cassie didn't even get items, he was the only one who got cauterized there. We didn't have a healer, so I guess it didn't really matter, but I don't want to look at this stats page for too long because it's going to make my eyes start to bleed. We'll go ahead and jump into another one, which is for another TDM or an Onslaught. You could do this in a Siege as well, but I want to, you know, stick to the more casual modes just because I've been feeling like playing flankers and TDM and Onslaught recently, so that's what I've been doing. Anyway, swiftly moving on for game two, we've got Onslaught Primal Core, we've got a Ceres, a Fury, and a Marnie, and a Shaolin, no tank, but that should be fine. Then for their side, they've got a Maeve, a Talos, a Barak, an Io, and a Grover, so it looks like it should be pretty even. Definitely looks like a better situation to show off the setup because even though game one went fine, I couldn't really demonstrate the loadout as much as I'd like to, so we'll go ahead and grab in the strength and then the loadout, and we'll start off with some quarter ice again, this time around for the talents. We've got Soul Collector, Recurve, Exterminate, Splitting Ice, uh, okay, then we're up against Architectronics, Sacrifice, Inner Strength, Street Justice, and Rampant Blooming. Street Justice, Maeve, both times. For some reason recently, Paladins just doesn't want me to show off setups because this has happened so many times now where I'm trying to show something off and then I end up going up against something that counters it in like all of the games for the video. I'm trying to spam my FA to survive. Luckily, we are still up. We can punch across. Hello, Maeve. She is gone. My accuracy is so janky. More shots for the Barak. Hey, look, we're like under the same height. Talos and Barak are both like really small little short dudes. Although I think Barak is actually a dwarf, whereas Talos is just like some non-human creature. We'll go ahead and blink back. There is the Q. There goes the Maeve. Nice double. See if we can turn it into a triple. Not going to happen because I'm out of ammo. We can punch across. There is the F. It just came off cooldown. I waited around the corner, get some shots into the back of the Grover. There is the Q. I'm expecting him to root me. The amount of sustain we get below 40% is kind of mad, although the Maeve really does worry me. Stunned from the Fury. Thank you for the free double, although she did get teleported. Punch over here. How am I still up? Barak Turret probably going to kill me. Am I really going to die this way? No, I'm on 30 health. Blink to get the heal. Thank you, Ceres. If you could hit me one, that'd be great. Or I'll just sit here in this corner and get out of combat while the Barak dances around. That's fine too. Pop the Q. Get some shots. I can't believe I actually managed to wiggle that place. I'm out. Punch for him to throw him off. There we go. He's out. Throw the F down. Get some little shots. Blink. Going to go ahead and pop the ult to maybe throw him off. Let's go on the IO. Sure. Can we get a double punch? No. Nope. She's just going to go all the way over there. And now I'm stuck on freaking right side. I mean, I guess I'm fine. They kind of just forgot about me and I ran back in. There is the self blink. I didn't even do that on purpose. Got a bit of a back angle here. Get rid of the IO. Her sacrifice has been so annoying so far. Trying to fight the Grover. The freaking amount of sustain we have below 40% is mad. It takes like four extra hits to get rid of us. I was trying to get rid of the Amani who's ulting. We'll try and block her. Hit her with the punch. There we go. I thought she was going to be teleported away, but I guess not. Sacrifice must have been down. Yeah, what I was trying to say is the four extra hits might have been a bit of an over-exaggeration, but definitely two or three. There's goes the Talus. Well done, Amani. We'll pop the F. Punch over. Hello, Io. Again, just going to burst her down. Why are my shots not feeling like they're hitting properly? Fury hit him with the stun. We'll go ahead and pop the old jump of the Maeve. Yeah, sure. Probably the person I should get out first because she has the execute. She's gone. Blink back. Nice. I've been playing very aggressively so far. It's been kind of working out, although I think I'm probably dead. He hit me with the cripple. There goes the Io. We bursted her like mad. Bunch more shots for her. Might be gone here. 200 health. There is the F. Going to blink back to it. Got rid of the turret punch over. How the hell did I manage to survive that? I don't know. There goes the barrack. Why did I just live there? I feel like I totally should have died. I guess because of the setup, right? Yeah, that's totally a good demonstration of it. There is the Maeve gone. I'm sorry, my FA goes crippled though. There is the Q. We're kind of behind the barrack. He's running around, but nope, he is gone. To be honest with you, I feel like I've actually been shredding so far. There goes the IO again. Her sacrifice must have been down. We'll throw the F. He's going back to spawn. We'll just pepper him with some shots. Pop the Q. Blast the barrack from the top. He is out. We'll blink back. We got the reset on the Q, so we don't even have to reload. There goes the Maeve. Hello, Talus. I just punched you but didn't deal damage what guess it was because he was winding up his ult i don't know that just insta detonated on me i'm on 300 health i am a goner that play was so janky like three things in a row didn't work how they should have she's getting teleported back so i guess she lived sacrifice has actually been working very well for her just had to use the ult button twice to get it to work okay but even though it makes very little sense i went ahead and got some life rip there goes the talus pop the q blast the grover and the io my eyes are so dry i need to blink more but there we go she is out and blink back nice that worked very well life rip coming through clutch we went ahead and pop the ult so we can drop down pop the q the amount of dps we have with that is mad there's a punch for the io just straight didn't work please fix talus punch for god's sake evil mojo it feels so crappy going for a bit of a flank but let's get rid of the io first there's a punch for her she is out if i can just land it again i thought she'd have her sacrifice up but she didn't so thank you for the free kill what i've been trying to say is i wouldn't really recommend life with the setup it works fine the only downside to it is that diminishing returns hits it really hard whenever you're below 40 percent. so it's only at like full effectiveness when you're above 40 percent health and then every time you're below it it pretty much hits it with 50 percent. so 30 percent life rip is about 15 so it ends up kind of not being 100 percent effective credit wise you kind of get what I'm saying. I'm sure if you play Paladins enough, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then you probably don't care. There goes the Talus. Get some shots here on the Maeve. Her daggers spawn under her, which is kind of funny. I don't know why that hasn't ever been fixed. Even get rid of the Io. I didn't think she'd make that jump, but we should be able to finish her off. Nice, she didn't get Luna down in time. I guess that's another way that maybe her sacrifice isn't working, is because she's not deploying Luna enough. For some reason, that's something I always forget about sacrifices. You do have to have Luna down for it to trigger. So maybe she's just not been throwing her down enough. I don't know. There is the Luna. I'm just going to dip and punch over. Thank you, Ceres, for like a tiny
How do you even cancel out a service here? I didn't know that was something you could do, but okay, Talos is just there. Barak is kind of here on the side. Can we save Charlin? We'll punch him. There we go. Nice. He's actually still up. There goes the Grover. Nice. I feel like I've been kind of shredding so far. Life Rip has definitely made a big difference. It is definitely a slight waste of credits, but it might be worth it still just because of how much extra sustain that 30 slash 15% life rip gives you. There goes the IO. Nice. Thank you for the godlike. Thought you were duking right, then left. There's a punch for you, rooted by the Amani. So she's gone. We did die, but that's fine. We get a good chance to spend our credits. I guess I'll just max out Haven. Yeah, sure. Splash shields too. Why not? We are literally five points off, so I don't think it matters. We'll go in on the May, pop a Q. Do I blink back? Would I just hang on for a little bit? We'll blink back. There we go. Got some good damage. I might just drop in the OMG there in the chat. Hello, Talus. There's a bunch of shots for you. Can we finish him off? Yes, we can. The lag there was mad, but there is the victory. For some reason, it took us like two whole minutes to get the last kill, but I definitely did well there. Matchmaking was again a little bit tilted, but I don't feel like it was as tilted as it was in game one, but maybe that's just because we won. I feel like I also just played significantly better in that one, and the setup really had a good chance to be demonstrated, and it was really shining there, to be honest. 29 to 393k. More than happy with that. The Ceres did pretty good. The Fury did pretty decent. The Amani also did pretty solid. The Charlin, not so much, but overall, we had a pretty solid team. He did stick on the point of time, so props to him for that at least, but maybe I was just the one carrying that game. I don't know. For their side, their Talus struggled quite a bit. Their Barrack did pretty good. He did stick to the objective a ton. The IO did decent. The Maeve, not so much. Then the Grover did a pretty good job. That was quite banana from the last game, so I guess maybe I was the deciding factor. Who knows, but that was one hell of a game, too. We'll go ahead and jump into another TDM to finish off the game three. We got TDM Snowfall Junction. We got a Leanne, we got a Moji, a Vivian, and a Ceres, and we're up against another Ceres, an Io, a General, a Koga, and a Drogo. So they have triple support and then a damage and a flank. We have a full flank damage team and then a Ceres. Bit of a different one, but all right. Been stuck on launching zero seconds for about a minute now. I think somebody else also noted that the servers have died, but I guess we just got put through. Of course, as soon as I start talking, it actually loads. We'll go ahead and grab in the strength and then the setup. The game just started. What? Right, well, that's a new one. I've never had the countdown put me in super late before. Alacrity, Opportunity Curl, Snack Attack, Mortal Reach, Adrenaline Junkie, Fusel, Binary Star Guards, Blessing, and Soul Collector. I would have thought that was just me, but it seems like everybody else is also super delayed. We're gonna just go ahead and blink back. We'll punch over. Pop the Q, kind of hit him from the side. There goes the Genos. Hello, Koga. I'll get rid of you as well. Thank you for the free double. Got some on the Ceres as well. Gonna punch across. Nobody up top. We'll pop the Q and drop down. There's some shots for the Genos. I really wish I wasn't forcefully pulled back there. I did pop my Q, but it didn't work. Okay. Hello, Koga. I'm very close to being dead. I can't believe I'm actually gonna win this fight because of the cards. Again, super good demonstration of the setup. Got some good damage on the IO. There's the F. We'll punch across. She's going over there. Shots on to the Koga and also the Drogos. I'm dead though because that rocket kind of came out of nowhere. Should have been paying more attention. Went ahead and grabbed quarter eyes too. We'll pop the ult. I guess they're all spawning over here. There's the punch. There's the Q. Just burst through him. Headshots make this setup kind of ridiculous. There goes the Koga. 36 health. Why was nobody finishing him off? Hello, Drogos. Get some shots on the Genos as well. Kind of firing down into him there. He wasn't expecting that. There's the F. We'll punch across. Hello, Drogos. You're not really flying around. He's gone. There goes the Koga as well. Nice. We'll blink back. Get some little pot shots over there on the IO. The downside two tiles is his weapon drop off because you really do have to play pretty close to people to deal good damage because as soon as you're at like medium distance you just drop off like mad. Thank you Ceres for the heal. I was just standing there. I didn't think she saw me punch in. Shots for the Koga. The Q is just mad. See if we can also get rid of the Drogos. Just enough to get a triple. Nice. We'll finish off our quarter eyes. Genos is just here. Go ahead and pop the ult. Who do we go on? I guess we'll go on the Ceres. Sure we'll land another punch on her. She just got flung all the way over there. Okay hello Io. There is the F and also the Q. Ain't a chance you're going through me. There's the blink. Absolutely clapped that Io. There is the Q. Genos should be gone. Nice. I don't know why people are trying to fight me here like as healers and throw the F down. Hello, Koga. There's some shots. We'll blink back. Pop the Q. Managed to dodge his slash. Nice. Genos is just going indoors. We'll punch in. We'll throw the F. I don't get any speed buff, which is a bit of a shame, but what we get in return is kind of crazy with the sustain and stuff. Get rid of this IO as well. I'm going to run out of ammo. That's the one thing with this setup is you are reloading quite a bit. That punch was super weird. There goes the Drogo as well done, team. Punch over. There goes the IO. There goes the Genos. We'll get rid of the Koga. He got rid of the IO or the Leon, I mean, but that's fine. We are so hard to kill when we drop below 40%. Plus the Ceres heals. It's mad. Don't want to like over explain the setup because it is super straightforward and I don't want to just say the same thing over and over again. You saw how awkward it can be in like game one, but yeah, game two and three, the sustain it's been giving us has been absolutely crazy. There's the Q, get rid of the Drogos, and nice, we've got the godlike again, there goes the Genos, we'll blink back, I can't believe I'm still alive. Seems like they're all spawning just over there, I don't have anything up, so I am a goner, probably shouldn't have been playing so aggressively with none of my abilities, I think Genos might have just popped the ult, Koga went ahead and popped his, there's a bunch of shots for him, I don't know what his plan was there, but he's gone. Throw the F, Io just backflipped here, she's gonna get me off the map, I do have my F down though, so we can actually get back on, hell yeah, that might be the only time I've ever been able to actually do that play, and I didn't even do it on purpose, I just didn't know where she was, and she kind of came out of nowhere. Kind of surprised that's like the first time I think I've ever pulled that play off. I don't have my F up, so I think I'm gone. Maybe we can get it down and blink back to it. There's the Q, get the life steal and shit. Oh my god, we are such a pain in the ass to get rid of when we drop below that 40%. Here goes to just blast me. There's a punch for him. Is he gonna go off the map? No, but he looked towards the floor for some reason. There's the F. Can we finish him off before I blink? It doesn't matter
did just unlock the Talus title though, which is pretty cool. I was not planning to do that in this video, but I'll take it, you know, kind of a nice way to end it off. Once again, for the stats, I feel like we shredded and the setup really did get a chance to shine. 19 to 69k, we'll happily take that. For the rest of them, the Emoji struggled a little bit, the Saris healed us a ton, props to her, she enabled the setup quite a bit. The Vivian did pretty good, and so did the Leanne, these two guys did pretty well. For this, Koga did okay, the Saris did alright, the IO did alright, the Genos did fine, and so did the Drogos. I feel like, once again, I might have been the deciding factor there. 19 to 69k is quite a bit above everybody else at the end is kind of close maybe she should have been on the other team but yeah there we go i have no idea how i'm gonna title this video but what a good bloody set of matches i feel like they kind of spoke for themselves i don't really want to add anything here at the end yeah we'll just end it off here thank you for watching if like if you enjoyed of course let me know what you want to see me do next i'll see you all very very soon and as always stay frost there